The following tutorial is for Alan Bradley PLCs using the Studio 5000 Logix Designer. This video will show how to jog the motor. This can be done by utilizing the AZ modules. Please ensure that the AZ modules have already been installed. If the AZ modules have not been installed, please see the How to Add a Module video. Jogging the motor is a way to ensure that the communication between the components is functioning properly. Let's begin by opening the Studio 5000 software and setting up the communication path by clicking the Who Active button. In the following pop-up window, please click the appropriate PLC. In our example, the PLC is connected via USB port. Once the appropriate PLC has been selected, click Set Project Path and continue by clicking Download. A warning window will appear notifying the user of any possible data changes and unexpected equipment operation. Please ensure that the equipment is ready before proceeding and click download. Next, we will change the mode of operation to remote run by using the controller faceplate. Now we can begin to run the motor by expanding the controller section in the controller organizer and clicking on the controller tags. Under the Monitor Tags tab, click on the Designated Oriental Motor Driver Output. In this example, the driver output is labeled as OM Axis 10, and the data type is in the INT format. Next, we will want to activate the forward jog bit using the controller tag mapping. The controller tag mapping can be found in the manual or attached in the EDS file that was previously downloaded in the How to Install an EDS file video. In order to jog, we need to activate the for jog bit. This is located under the output data 2 bit 0. Let's begin by expanding the data 2 and entering a value 1 for bit 0. The motor will now move in the forward direction. To stop the motor, enter a value of 0. Now let's try moving the motor in the opposite direction. In the controller tag mappings, we see a reverse jog located under the output data 2 bit 1. Enter 1 into data 2 bit 1. The motor will now move in the reverse direction. To stop the motor, enter a 0 value. We have now confirmed movement in both directions and ensured communication between the components. This completes this section. Thank you for watching and please check out our other tutorials.